So in this video I'm going to show you how to do this uh, Dutch door effect which essentially is cutting away part of the page so you see another page uh, through the cutaway part. Um, this is kind of the finished product but um, what I'll do is um, I'll just delete the parts that uh, make up the Dutch door and then uh, we'll um, put them back in again. Um, so um, you create the Dutch door effect by either inserting a polygon, a rectangle, or um, a shape which is made up of um, uh, lines which define the area you want to cut away. So there's the shape tool and you can um, just kind of freehand it and uh, you don't get a great result like that but um, it does uh, give you a closed shape and you notice how I'm drawing round um, the bit of the shape that we of the page that we don't want rather than the bit that we do want um, so that's obviously pretty crude um, so I'll get rid of that. Um, the other way to do it is if you just want a, a really simple Dutch door effect and you can just use the rectangle tool. So let's say um, I just wanted to get rid of that portion of the of the um, page. So I've added a, a rectangle. I'd go to link page and um, choose the page I want to link through to, so it's the next page in this instance, um, and then I just press as window, and then I can turn the page, and that that part of the um, the page has been cut away. Um, select that polygon again, and then. Um, uh, back to link and then choose make reverse link and that'll put the same or the opposite link on the other page and effectively gets rid of um, the um, uh, opposite side of the page as well. Um, now we're just seeing that these have a border on them so I'll turn that off, fills off that should look a bit better. Same with this one. Should have done that before copying it. So if we decide that's not quite what we want, it's a bit simple. Um, I'm going to go through and get rid of those. Um, the other way to do it is to use the pen tool uh, to draw the these lines in that define um, the kind of non-linear edge of the shape that you want to cut away. Um, and then you're going to have to complete um, that polyline essentially so that it um, uh, surrounds the rest of the page you want to cut away so I'll just quickly do that. I tend to use the ruler tool um, and it can snap to the end of these lines so you get a closed shape um, and I find you get a better uh, result if you just go a tiny bit further than the edge of the page so that ensures it cuts it away. Um, then you want to select those lines. Um, so I've got a uh, select them, and then we're going to use the make shape feature. Um, and if I go to shape and tap on it, so I've got a shape, and I'll just um, um, 
turn fill on so there we are that's the shape so that's defining the region of the page that we want to um, uh, cut away effectively so and we just go through the same process as we did before so link page yeah page two is fine um, as window and then because we know what we're doing we just say um, make reverse link turn on two again and it looks like we've still got a border on that I didn't have noticed uh, border there we go same on this one border and um, we'd probably get rid of those lines as well um, that we added just to make the shape with pen. There we go. So it's that one, that one, that one. Great. Um, so that's done and you can see on this page leaving these lines is quite useful because um, they help uh, um, delineate the the um, page we're on with the one from behind so if we go to the next one um, I think the new shape is just on top so I could in this instance because those lines are there from the previous um, uh, working version. Um, turn that off. I can send this to the back, I think. Yeah. To the back. There they are. Yeah, if they hadn't been there, we could have copied the same ones from, from this. Uh, I think this needs to go to back as well. Um, from this page. It just gives a better effect. And you can add shadows and things with with the, the same sort of technique of adding uh, a, a translucent lines um, good so